You're in um, New Orleans. Yeah. How about this? You're here to watch your sons play in the CFP. What's the feeling? Excitement, uh, nervousness. Uh, I, my wife and I usually get a little uptight as the game gets closer and closer. Uh, for the Pac-12 championship game there in Vegas, uh, both of us were pretty uptight on game day. Uh, but then once the game started, the nerves seemed to kind of settle. And you know, seeing our, our sons out there, and, and it, it really seems to uh, you know be we're reminiscing about the the magic magic season they're having. I'll tell you. Let's let's get right into it. Does this year's team remind you of the '91 team? <laughs> Very much so. And ironically, initially it did not. But as the season progressed, it seemed to uh, really show us more and more of wait. Well, there's some parallelism between my freshman year, the team that we had and the team that, that's going on right now. And, and it's the resiliency of this team for them to continually find a way to, to scratch and claw and fight and find a way to get a win. Uh, those are some things that we went through. Um, reminded me of the, the, the game when we played in Nebraska and we ended up winning that game. Uh, but I, the resilience of this team and the, and, and the way they go about things, I've, I've, I've been impressed uh, week in and week out as this, as this season's gone on. What do you think about the way Carson's playing right now? I mean, he had 14 tackles against Oregon State, 14 against Washington State. It seems like he's really found a group, right? He has, and what I'm most impressed with, with with Carson is whenever he's gotten the opportunity, he's made the most of his opportunity. And whenever the team has needed a big play, he's helped contribute and made that big play. Uh, you know, we had a fumble down in Oregon State. Uh, you know, it was a great play by the Oregon State defender, uh, Katano Ladapu. But then the very first play on defense, Carson goes and causes a forced fumble to get the ball back for our offense. Uh, so he's found a way to, to help insert himself in the, in the correct measures uh, for his team and, and help his team in the right way. And I, I know that you played a different position than he does, but he strikes me as a throwback player, like a guy who's willing to do whatever he needs for the team. I know he's, he's a monster on special teams. Um, and I know the way you played was was that gritty, like, lunch pail attitude. Like, do you see similarities in your game to what you're witnessing as his career develops for him? I would agree with those comments. You know, I, I was one of those guys that would outwork everybody that I played against and found a way to always have them remember that they played against me with how hard that I played. Uh, Carson's a much better athlete than I am, or I was, excuse me. Uh, his his ability to read and react is he, he's a very cerebral person, so his football instincts that I think are, are really unmatched amongst anybody that I've seen. And you know the way he goes about and plays the game is the right way. It's a hard. He always makes them remember that they played number 42 in a, in a clean way, but a hard way. And you know I think that and that also helps elevate the, the the teammates that are around him because of the way he plays the game. And uh, I, I really admire that about him. I really do. Braden going from Oregon State to UW. Carson told me that it's now 10 in a row for your family and extended family that have gone to UW between you, your wife, uncles, cousins, him, Braden, his sisters. That's impressive. Like, how much pride does your family take in being a, a family that just bleeds purple and gold? When Carson was being recruited by the, the schools that he was, we were fortunate where he had lots of options. and. My wife and I, we were very careful not to choose that option for him, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, when he finally committed to the University of Washington, uh, I asked him, I was like, obviously we had some significant influence as far as where we wanted him to go. Uh, but I asked him, I said, what was your main factor? He said, Dad, I've grown up watching the Huskies play in Husky Stadium, and it's been my dream to run out of that tunnel as a Husky player. So in a way, we kind of let him make his own decision, but in a way we've been kind of grooming him since he's been about seven years old as far as where we want him to go to school. And we're very fortunate that we're able to have both of our sons playing for such a great organization and going to a great institution, and they're going to get a great degree from an amazing, amazing institution. And that's what makes my wife and I most proud is what all of our kids have accomplished in their own separate and different ways. Of the people in your immediate and extended family who went to UW, uh, is it just you and your two sons that played on the football team, is, is yes, that accurate? Yes, okay. that is correct. Okay. Uh, but, you know, their grandfather, my dad, went and got his master's degree at the University of Washington. So we, we have a long lineage of Bruners that have attended and walked up on upper campus uh, through the cherry blossoms. And uh, it's just it's one of those things to where when you're a Bruner, you, you go to the University of Washington. Last thing I'll ask is how proud are you of your two sons and what they've been able to accomplish this season already and still have the chance to accomplish? Extremely proud. Uh, that, I don't know if really that gives it justice. Uh, 
uh, you know, we're, we're extremely proud of this, the, the young men that they've become. Uh, what they do on the football field is important, and what the season has progressed to be is extremely important. But when we had them home for Christmas, it was like the same young men that we had growing up that we took to Husky Stadium for them to watch running out of the tunnel. They're, uh, they're just great young boys. They really are. And that's one of the things that we're most proud of is just how well young men that they've become. And for other people to come up to, hey, I, I ran into Carson, he's so polite. I ran into Braden, he's, he's such a, a great person to talk to. He's so well-rounded. Those are the comments that parents love to hear about their kids, and that's what we're most proud of. What would a second national championship mean to your family? <laughs> It would be incredible. The, the ring that I have from the 91 team, it looks like a gumball, a 25 cent gumball machine ring compared to what these boys are gonna have. And I, I want nothing more for, for them to be able to share and, and, and understand what, what I went through, but then make their own memories, but have us be a little parallel with, with what we've been able to accomplish as well, the father-son's type approach. We're very excited. Have you been able to make it to every game this year? We've, yes. So my wife and I have really figured out a way to make sure it's happened. And luckily with my work, they've been giving me the freedom and the flexibility to make that happen. So uh, we're excited. You know, just today, we grandma and grandpa, my, uh, one of my daughters, and then our youngest son is here. And we're going to be here to support, support the team and hopefully cheer him to a win.